Hello there everyone, this is I Mark 3 and welcome back to our little run in Frostpunk in the Canyons map. Where we've been slowly but steadily improving our stability and we are watching as a unusually weak storm comes in. I mean only one level of temperature loss. And there's also the fact that uh, I wouldn't blame you guys for thinking that this series had just suddenly ground to a halt and uh, disappeared and been abandoned or something or other, because it's disappeared for like the last week-ish at this point. I am sorry about that. Basically real life caught up and health deterioration and yeah, I wasn't in a good state. Still not, but at least I'm getting somewhat on track with things again, but uh, yeah. Also, there was little voices starting in my head as well. It's like, ooh, it's like, I don't want to do new things. I'm afraid it's going to backfire, or people won't like it, or what's the point? I'm not that good. And it's like, you know, the usual psycho babble stuff that I try to grapple with quite a lot. In other news, I'm going to be getting back on some meds. I think. I, I think I do. I really do need them again. <laughs> but moving on, Frostpunk. Back into the frozen city as the day approaches. It's also the fact our hope is absolutely abysmal. Ugh. We we need to give our people some hope. We need to stop them from becoming dirty, dirty traitors and uh, kicking us out or demanding massive improvement, which we probably can't deliver in such a short time, I will admit. But we also have a chance to do some research and things as well. I mean, we've got ourselves a Steam Core. Um, I admit, I double-checked the end of the last part and... I paused this and was looking around going, oh yeah, I was doing that, and hmm, yes, we need this thing, and it's like, I was just making sure I was back on track, that's kind of what I do if I'm not, um, if I've been away from recording a game for a little bit more than I'm comfortable with, so, you know, it's an efficiency upgrade, probably a good idea. Advanced heaters, probably not, three hours, three, uh, three coal, so that'll boost my coal. Steam up efficiency upgrade. A third less coal. But the hubs are actually a major drain on our coal, so that is very tempting. But um, I'm thinking, leaning more towards trying to get something to boost our efficiency if I can. And as I said, this is one of the problems with being away from a game for a while. It's just like, ugh, I was trying to remember what I was doing, and it's like, You don't know what you're doing, son. Oh, chilly. Actually, if I want to maintain that, that activity during the next day, I'm going to need to do something about that. Which is... I want to put down the tech. I'm going to put down a temporary steam core. Which, the purpose of which is purely to get that going. And... Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't... I could activate the watchtowers to get some hope back, but I don't really want to. Uh, because to reliably run them, I'm going to have to kick up the steam core's power level a little bit further. And our coal reserve is kind of the issue. Oh, that's on 24 hours. That's not what we need. We need a 6, uh, six to 8. Because these guys are running 6 to 8s on the gathering posts, so... Don't need that. Oh, wait. No, oh, there's a house in there. That's why it's on 24. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that house is there. I forgot about my people. How could I do such a thing? Well, it was a complete accident. I'll tell you that much. There's also the fact that we can actually... That's something I forgot to do. That's something I forgot to do. These are both, yeah, they're both steam thumpers. Yeah, so we can put in an extra two gathering posts in here. Because steam thumpers produce enough coal for four gatherers to go. And we have the spare people, so, you know, we might as well just throw these out here. Get the extras rolling. We need the coal flat out, so, yeah. I mean, that one that was stopped because it's actually overstocked itself a little bit. In fact, we might want to put in a third one. I think that'll be close enough. 
double check and make sure. Nope, not bringing any people. But uh, if we have this extra one in here, if it's within range of those, then that'll help to make sure that we are actually getting literally everything out of these. But there is, of course, the fact that... Uh, uh, I need to double check my memory really quickly. Yeah, the Thumper doesn't get the as many effective boosts as the Gallows. So actually, yeah, that one's not necessary. Get rid of that. Oh, oh, our, our health care is actually overloaded. And I forgot the propaganda center. Oh, well, propaganda center, whoops. Uh, oh, I built it, but I didn't open it. <laughs> Whoopsie. That was my bad. That was a big mistake. The whole hope is st stupidly critical now. But that that's on me. I completely forgot. Worry we'll lose what, what little we have left. Nope, nope. You've got to keep all this. Scouts are back. Some extra resources. Thank you. Order, people. Let's march to work. Yes, march to work, please. Uh, I think I'm going to actually... Let's, de let's definitely cut it down onto low level. Let's actually go into my tech and get seam of efficiency rolling. Because I, I should have done that before I, I started mucking around. I, I forgot to do so. Uh, the storm is... We've still got another day, actually. So I was about to pull the hunters in, but no, we don't need to do that just yet. You guys store some extra... I'm going to say coal. Coal we need. And we need to get these people rolling as well. There we go. Actually, maybe raw food source would be good. Or maybe an extra, med extra medical post would be good. Uh, we do have, after all, more people than we can handle in just our hospital. Sorry, our hospital and our remaining medical centre. If we look, yeah, we just got to the one. So, let's do that. Let's get health up a little bit better. And I'll slap that in over here, next to this work area as well. So anyone who gets sick here, they should go to this medical tent first. At least that's the idea. Automation project, huge success! Um, wait, didn't we get that at the end of the last part? Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Automation complete. Automatons can be used to lower cost and used in medical facilities. Learn to modify the precision attachments, allowing them to work the most fragile thing we know of human body. Can be used in medical facilities and cost reduced. Most excellent. So now we can automate our medical facilities. Though that said, that'll free up like 10 people. We have the people to do that, so we don't really need to bother with that. Steam core. I think maybe going for a coal mine would be a good idea. We don't have the tech. Ah. I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, look at that. Though. Massive sick absence is going on. Resource. Coal mine. Four. Twenty wood, ten steel. But I think maybe going for the next efficiency upgrade as well for our main generator will help because we are going to need the overdrive for that. We are using book houses. We want to upgrade to housing. Twenty, but we actually we need more wood. We need the wall drill functional. Uh, we need the wall drill. We need that. I'm sorry. I'm just, as you, you can tell, I'm coming up to speed still, can't you? We need the wall drill. Let's throw all the engineers out of there. Let's throw five engineers into here get that functioning and we'll order up a additional automaton I'll also throw out the foreman that temperature comes. I don't want you guys comfortable turn off 
You're chilly. You're chilling out, you understand? You are nice and chilly. Don't want to waste the coal, but yeah. Foreman's. Um, because we've got big heaps of coal, we need to get that in. Look at that. Look at the efficiency gain. Look at them gains. I wish there was a way to mass select on this, but yeah. Also, we need to get these guys on the, the enhanced work level as well. There we go. And of course, we're going to need five engineers as well for um, for that um, clinic when it opens. So I need to see where we've got engineers. Something here. There we go. But yeah, with an extra automaton, we'll let us get the wall drill running full tilt as well, just to make sure. But we are good. We are golden. This... Ooh, three levels of temperature rise coming up after the storm. We should be fine. Minus 80, we can survive this. It's just that hope. That hope is just like, ouch. I think I need to actually try and get these uh, guard posts operational. Really. Temperature chilly, yeah, that's okay. Right. Harder to drag myself out of bed every day. Here it is. Here it is. Housing is now cold. We're going to need here our best accommodation. I mean, we managed to regain a lot of stuff. Is we need to actually fire the heaters in that to make sure it stays up. That's still going, which is great. I was afraid it wouldn't. No, actually, we can turn that off, can't we? Yeah, just turn that down to chilly, at the very least. These guys like, can't quite handle it. But you're okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. My plan's good. My, my plan is solid. Auto automaton to throw at the um, wall drill. Or actually out here to the sawmills. The sawmills are faster. So getting that extra automaton is going to be clutch. There we go. Okay. Uh, I want to free up five workers. Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. I need to do the whole manual thing of kick everyone out of here. At least we're part way through the part. We're getting into the day, so there's nothing ticking around on these. And of course, there's the fact we didn't actually get any people into our propaganda center. I built it out here because, if you recall, and I, I just recalled, because I didn't think it would need to be heated. <laughs> Turned out it didn't matter anyway because I just forgot. So, you know. Top of time. Go out there and do the thing on. I guess this one. Actually, it doesn't really matter which one, does it? Uh, yeah, I'll throw you at that one. Well, that's the generator efficiency upgrade. That is most excellent. Let's get the... I'm tempted to go flying hunters, actually. Uh, hot houses are all... Alright, the cookhouse is actually still good, so that's holding up. I don't need to worry about that. Sawmill range extension is what I'm eyeing up, as well as advanced steelwork. Though, honestly, I think we need to try and deal with the uh, shortage of wood at the moment. So, sawmill range extension will help with that. I can go for better insulation things on the gathering side of things. Or I can just boost the efficiency of the automatons. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no! Oh wait, no. There's one. There is one that I actually wanted, which is additional scouts. That way, after this storm, we can send out three scouts. So you know, more exploration, more people, more steam cores, all the shiny things we need. Oh, look at that coal rate skyrocketing! Jeez. That is just going off the charts. 
and they have they're, they're stalling because the storage capacity is yeah well I guess we don't need to worry about that okay anyway let's just check our adoption tree oh, not much I want in here because care house I, mean, I think I mentioned this before we, we don't need that we've managed to avoid really injuries needing to go towards prosthetics so let's look into here patrol uh, reduce discontent raise hope so we'll get our first ability of course there's the fact that the posts aren't actually working but let's get that hear me, hear me. ensure neighborhoods are safe and orderly city. of course yeah that's what they'll do definitely keep the crooks off the streets yep that's the point encourage you to meet law face to face so yeah we got it's time for rest. we got people out the, off the streets but workday end that's actually a, a slightly bad time but that's okay that's okay I'm contemplating tier four five just to get access to the entire tech tree uh, of course, it's the fact we don't have. There's a lot of things we're still missing in general, but we're okay. This one, redesign. We need to get houses down. Let's make them cheaper. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. That'll do. Definitely. Definitely do. Right. So if we do that. Uh, we're good, actually. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Generator. See, this is part. Well, what I meant, like, I'm not quite 100 percent yet. Especially, like, this is kind of why I, I held off going into um, doing some frostpunk and um, doing some from the depths, which I was thinking to do, and why I'm holding off slightly on Avorian because. I said I was going to do a Vorian two, when 2.0 hit, and that hit last week, actually. So, yeah, there's some a Vorian content planned soon. Um, because you have witnessed here how scatterbrained I've got when I'm just trying to go through like something a bit more detailed than this. You know? I mean, I've, I had a thought. It's like, oh, I'm going to do this, this, and it's just something like... Um, distraction. Tangent. Whee! Let's go over that way. I forget what the first thing was. Oh, well, I'll come back to me later. So it's like, you know... I'm, I'm a bit. I feel like I'm just still a bit too scatterbrained to really reliably be playing this kind of game. But I'm trying to do it anyway, so you know. So also the fact these are not an operative, but um, not much I can do about that at the moment without expending generator range. But we've got the overdrive going, so they should be livable. Livable. I could turn it down to level one. Yeah, level. No, wait, no, we're, we're still, we're not, we're still just cooling down. Never mind. Level two, yeah, level two plus overdrive. That'll be enough to see us through this. I could boost the range and actually engage with that. Seven. I don't think we need you at the moment. Oh no, look, suddenly, sudden massive burst and what the heck's that? Massive burst of people getting sick. Want to make sure so that discontent doesn't get things. Okay, let's kick that back in. What are you though? Sabotage! Ooh! Sir, an agitator has been vandalized. Someone removed a part from it and wrote stop squeaking all day at its base. It seems like not all of the people want to work efficiently. People may make hurt, catch them, get the power, or just repair it. Next eight hours. That's, that's fine. It's the middle of the night. I don't mind that. It'll come back on soon enough. I'll, I'll be agitating the people soon, soon. But preventing people getting hurt is more important to me than the agitator for a few hours, honestly. You see, I, I'm a man of the people. I care for my workforce. Yes, I really care about my workforce. It's got nothing to do with the fact that if they're not hurt, they can actually do more stuff. Not a, nothing at all. Yes, back to the old grind. Get to it. Come, lads. We must work 
Oh, now. we're full on steel. Okay, let's get the sawmill going, I suppose, but... Uh, hmm. I do need more storage, it turns out. It's just I don't want to go out there... I don't want to, I don't want to send my people out into the snow. Let's redesign, okay. Let's go for the large storage depot, because we're probably going to need that. Let's be honest. Oh. Exemplary behavior. Found inspiration in their work under the guidance of the foreman and have decided to try organizing their workplace on their own. Spirit and motivation are exemplary today. Oh, the good work, my boys. Shame those places don't have any work to do because our storage is full, but... I appreciate the dedication. Yes, that. Also, it, we're in the middle of the day. I should shut off the overdrive, fire up the generator a bit higher. Um, yeah, I, I really should remember the timing on that. There we go. This quiet is... Slightly confused. Large resource depot. Research? Good. Houses are cold. I really could do with steam level 4, if I'm going to be honest, to reliably survive this, and there's the fact that stronger storms will be coming. But... Yep, yeah, I think i just kick the overdrive back in again. I'm sure I'm not doing this the most efficiently, but it's like... I was also trying to spare the overdrive a bit, because, you know... If we don't, things are going to go boom. So, we don't want to do that. That's redesign, infirmary, infirmary checklists, heal for people faster. Infirmaries were quite... Well, people's not the concern. Faster would be nice, but I'm pondering where to spend my resources. The range extension would be nice, the advanced steel mills would be nice. Let's check this. Um, use workshops and factories. Further improve the workplace integration of automatons, boosting efficiency. So that, that, will, that one will help us further. Though, we are running into storage limits, of course. I think let's get the heater efficiency. Minus one coal per heater. But my, no, no, no. No, better idea. Let's hit tier five. Let's hit tier, let's hit tier five. We're going for the big guns, the final upgrades. I just wish there was something we could do with our research capacity but when we've actually got, got the tech tree maxed out. Yes, I know the generator's getting critical. I know, I know, I know. Unfortunately, we're not quite going to reach the safe zone. It's going to have to be... shut down now. So yeah, this might make a lot of sick people, but we are on the cusp of getting through the storm. Look at the numbers skyrocketing. Ouch. Yep, there goes the medical facilities getting overloaded. Generator is doing vital de-stressing there. Wait, what was, what was it you said? Dreamt us back in London. What a disappointment. <laughs> Demand a lot of our people for what, a few days and all? Don't worry, I'll start, I'll start policing your asses really soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. Prison. Discontent will go out slightly. You have to build a prison. Uh, prisoners will abandon them as kind of views. Well, we, we have had some things going on, but that's partly because our hope is so abysmally low. You know what? Let's actually spend these this one here to do something nice. Let's get care homes. The gravy ill. Have to build a care house? Yes, but it's a source of hope. We care for the sick people. I do this because of my bleeding heart. Totally. Yeah, totally. Here it is. We've got the temperature going. We've got um, everything is right in the world. We're at livable. We can step back the generator slightly. We are golden. Oh, yes. And because the storm's gone, the hope's gone up something. And I guess... Well, it has to be engineers in there, does it? Okay. More importantly, though, we've got things to do. So, scout teams. Go, go, go. Oh, 
apparently that buried dreadnought stuck around. Okay. Get the new scout team. We have plenty of wood because we built that up during the storm, so we're fine for that. New scout team. Down that way. Jolly good. And we are doing the scouty thing. Also get the hunters rolling out to get the food. Yes. Um, I'm going to have to consider expanding my heat zone out this way. Because, um, you know, we need, we've got the child shelters out here. We've got... Uh, we need to do a care home, of course. Which is... I'm going to do now, actually. Which fits perfectly into this area here. I think I'll... Yeah, I'll pop it. I'll pop it well, it's not in the heat zone. Uh, I'll pop it there. Not in the heat zone, but that's okay. Treacherous cold. Okay, so what's the thing? Reporting they're feeling unwell after only a short stay in low temperatures. Where the cold, everyone can fall ill much more easily. Oh, that's a bad one. Basically, I have to be a lot more careful with the temperature for people. Um, is even chilly going to be super dangerous? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I am slightly concerned about that now, so... Maybe it's time to reposition that steam hub and kick the generator up into high gear. I mean, we've got tons of gatherers. Yeah, let's kick it up to three. So that's on three. Overdrives are off, of course. Um... Temperature heat zone is at level 3 now. Yes, it's at level 3, so that's going. We could... Actually, we've got all our people active, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We need more automatons. We need more steam pools. We need more people, in fact. And we need the people to be better conditioned, too. We need to watch our, our temperatures. I'm worried about the chill. You know, if I'm, since I'm actually feeling worried, let's go ahead and set these down, right, then fire the generator up to maintain livable, of all things. Look at me, I care for my people, ha ha ha, somewhat. Oh, so that was something just happened. A child came to the guard station and gave the guardsman a stuffed toy dog, telling them that they should take it with them when they walk the streets at night. Oh, Seems people appreciate those who work hard to protect law and order in our city. Uh, don't, please don't pay attention to the fact that there's no one actually working in the guard stations. <laughs> but still, oh, At least discontents is low, which I think is what led to that one. But still. Also, yeah, too many people out here. Too many peeps. Can they fire you up? Actually, we don't have the storage at all, do we? Uh, yeah, that looks okay. For the most part. Except for the fact, actually, I'm looking at food. Let's check our thing. Food? Still net positive. Good. Health, we're still okay. Coal, we're still okay. Okay. And this is the other reason why I was like, um, I still think I'm not 100% for this kind of game because it's just like, hmm, I, I'm trying to keep track of everything. But I'm thinking my game plan is, since we're at the half hour mark, so it's actually time to stop. On the next day, like tomorrow, when the temperature goes up again, ooh, level 5, when the temperature goes up, I'm going to then deploy because that's going to be our, our break for building stuff out in the cold a uh, best break for it because you know it's it's said that people are going to get sick really easily so I think I should probably get um, boosted healing speed and stuff like uh, that would be a really good idea also including our, our, sur our surplus of food is also going to be a good idea as is getting insulation and getting our housing upgrades but that's that's things that's going to have to wait let's get infirmary checklist rolling just to, for the better healing time because actually, in the middle of the day, we were, we were 22 people being treated. That's bad. 
actually really, really bad. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like that treacherous cold hazard. I don't think I've seen it very often, but it seems like a, quite a dangerous one, actually. But yeah, until next time, though. This has been Iron Mark Three. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. That's, um... How, how much spare housing do we even have? I have to check this list. I think. Housing. Here we go. 226 out of... It, what's, what's my maximum housing? I don't think it tells me anywhere, does it? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all some other time. Ah, I don't, I don't have any spare capacity for working upgrades. Duly noted. But yeah, see you all later. Quick, the range up on that one, actually.